Good Tuesday morning, everybody. This is Steve Monday, Chief Forecaster for Rowan County Weather. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on weather-wise around the area this morning. There are some isolated showers out there. Uh, more widespread rainfall up toward the northwest corner of the state there around Boone and Jefferson. Also some patchy fog going on as well. We'll see the patchy fog hanging around through maybe mid-morning this morning before it starts to burn off and we'll have cloudy skies as we go through the day today. The temperatures were on the screen, they're refreshing now, so hopefully they'll populate back up while we're talking. But if not, it's 55 degrees at the Mid-Carolina Airport, 55 degrees here at the Weather Center, and temperatures mainly in the 40s and 50s around the area, depending on where you look. Uh, we're starting to see some of those start to populate back now. Uh, but again, uh, we'll warm up into the 70s today, and uh, we'll have cloudy conditions mainly for the entire day. Winds will be gusty. We'll see gusts up to around 25 miles an hour, and those gusts will continue as we go through the overnight hours. And the main reason for that is we've got a front that's making its way through the central part of the country, and it's pushing out ahead of it the, this line of showers and storms. You see that purple area there that's, uh, that's flashing. That is a tornado uh, watch that's in effect for western Tennessee, and locations to the west of that. And you can see all that lightning in that line of shower or in that line of thunderstorms that's making its way through Western Tennessee. Now, when all this gets here uh, later this evening into the overnight hours and during the morning hours on Wednesday, it will have lost some of its punch because we'll be going into the overnight hours. A lot of that instability in the atmosphere will be settled down because the sun won't be uh, out there to, to kind of kick things up, get it all stirred up. Uh, so again, we're just looking for rain chances here during the overnight hours and through the morning hours on Wednesday. We'll dry out for Wednesday afternoon and we'll kick it back up again Thursday with some rain moving in for the overnight hours of Wednesday and Thursday. And then we'll dry out again for Friday and Saturday before we get rain chances again on Sunday. So we've got a pattern of some Moderate rainfall in some ways, some scattered showers, that kind of stuff. No real widespread rain chances uh, for us, but uh, there'll be periods of rain as we go through the next couple of days and right into early next week. Let's go ahead and take a quick break. We're going to word from our friends at Patterson Farm. Charlotte FC's first ever home game coming up next Saturday night. This Saturday, they'll be playing uh, D.C. United up in Washington, D.C. And then next Saturday... They'll be here at home playing the Los Angeles Galaxy for their very first game, very first home game ever uh, at Bank of America Stadium. We'll get a word from them, and then we'll come back. We'll give you the forecast and more. All that's coming up right after this. The weather impact sponsored by Patterson Farm. The 2022 all season passes are on sale now. You saw the details for that during the break. For more information and to purchase your passes, visit pattersonfarm.com forward slash all hyphen season hyphen pass and you can get all the details there. Purchase your passes. Make sure that you utilize promo code farm love. You'll save $15 off. That promo code's valid for a few more days, February 28th, before that one runs out. So 
still an opportunity to save some money there if you plan on purchasing some all-season passes. We'll see patchy fog around the county through mid-morning, cloudy skies during the day. Winds will be out of the south-southwest at around 5 to 15 miles an hour, with gusts as high as 25 miles an hour. Mostly cloudy skies this evening, and the winds will continue to main, remain gusty as we go into the overnight hours as some rain starts to move into the area and the county. The forecast sponsored by SA Sloop Heating and Cooling. Built on integrity, give them a call, 704-857-5684. Visit them on their website, www.sasloop.com. Mention you notice they sponsor the forecast on Rowan County weather. They'll give you $25 off your first time service call. Cloudy skies today, high of 70, mostly cloudy skies this evening with a low of 59. Again, remember the winds are going to be gusty throughout the day today. So keep that in mind. On Wednesday, we'll see a 60% chance of rain during the morning hours. We'll get up to a high of 72 with a low of 53 and mostly cloudy skies Wednesday evening. Thursday, we started all over again with a 40% chance of rain during the morning hours. High of 59, mostly cloudy skies by Thursday evening with a low of 49. On Friday, we'll see partly sunny skies, high of 72, partly cloudy skies Friday evening, low of 37. For Saturday, we'll see mostly cloudy skies during the day. Cooler conditions, though, high of only 53, mostly cloudy skies Saturday evening with a low of 40. And then for Sunday, rain chances return once again with a 40% chance of rain, high of 54, and a low of 30. If you're looking for ways to stay updated with Rowan County weather at any time, you can visit us on our website, www.rowancountyweather.com. You can follow and like us on our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can check us out on cable television, WSRG TV in Salisbury. It's available on Hotwire Channel 394, Spectrum Channel 16. We'll keep you updated there as well. For now, enjoy your Tuesday. And as always, thank you for following Rowan County weather.